Update 2 on Cyclone Donna, which is currently located to the north of Vanuatu at 9am UTC May the 4th. It had winds of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 977 millibars. It's at 12.5 south, 167.9 degrees east, and cyclone warnings are in effect for some of those northern islands. The storm could intensify further and become uh, one of very few May storms in the Southern Hemisphere to reach Category 2. Only four have ever done that on the Sapphire Simpson scale, and only two have ever made it to Category 3, which is what is currently on the forecast for Donna. That's uh, Category 4, uh, possibly 5 on the Australian scale uh, in the future. Um, the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre is predicting a peak right now of 125 miles an hour. That is just about Category 5 on the Australian scale. It's 97 miles north-northeast of Sola, Vanuatu, 212 miles north-northeast of Luganville, and 360 miles north of the capital Port Villa, and it could affect all of these locations. It's a stage 3 on the CDPS scale, meaning the conditions near the centre could be significantly damaging, and it is developing further. Um, over the next few days, this is what we expect from its track. So it will pass just to the northwest um, of Luganville as it moves towards the southwest um, and then out towards the western half of Vanuatu, out to sea, and then further south. You can see on Sunday by the end of the weekend, still really a, a, a high amount of uncertainty on those models. So it could do something drastically different. Now, the models had it doing everything, stalling, moving west, moving east, moving towards Fiji. Who knows what might happen from this, but we'll keep you up to date. Uh, this is the latest in sea surface temperatures, very warm, around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius at a minimum, um, and that is expected to remain for some time yet. Wind shear is only marginal, only marginal rather, around 25 to 30 knots of wind shear, um, and it is potentially on the increase, though to the southwest it appears to be at least um, remaining the same. And this is the system now moving towards the southwest. You can see there any rumblings of an eye perhaps? Well, not quite on visible. You might see it a little bit better on the infrared imagery. You can see there the center of the storm and it's really um, churning out those really high cloud tops beyond 90, minus 90 Celsius. Um, and in the center there, I'm not sure whether that is the eye or whether that's just a feature of the cloud tops there. Uh, they, uh, they do look rather similar. Uh, by the way, you see the cyclone warning there, most of the northern islands of Vanuatu extending as far as northern Espirito, Espirito Santo, which is the largest island in Vanuatu. Elsewhere in the tropics, not, nothing else is really going on apart from this Inves 98S, which really doesn't look like anything. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that is what was Cyclone Greg, which got named by the Australian region, uh, but did not get named by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center um, as they did not recognize it as a tropical cyclone. And it certainly isn't recognized as one now uh, and barely makes it as a tropical disturbance looking at that. Uh, that will probably be no longer with us for a while, but I just decided to show this one to you to pass the time because there's nothing else going on in the tropics. So the numbers that we're up to so far in 2017, tropical depressions, two, 11 tropical storms, three category ones, and one of each category beyond. That will probably change pretty soon. You can see how it compares to the averages from 1960 to 2016 there. 22 depressions, 41 storms, and etc. So, in terms of numbers for tropical storms this year, it's 19. Uh, 31 is the benchmark from 1900. Uh, obviously, observations weren't so good back then. Uh, but the average since 1960 was 90 and a half. So we've got to turn 19 into 90 to get to the average. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13, all in text if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype, F -O -O -L 13 and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>